Good morning. Oh, we just got groceries. I just threw away some raspberries because they were so moldy, but they gave me money back. We are getting ready to do breakfast. Good news, a refund was issued. Okay, <laughs> that was fast. But yeah, I've just been putting things away. I'm gonna set a breakfast box of brownie face for. Because he was scratching my hand when I was, I was doing the dog scratchings. And I told him not to do that. Uh, anyway, today is Thursday. It looks beautiful outside. I just got sent a bunch of posters to do for the brewery. So I need to see if he's okay with late afternoon. You can't be sending things in the morning and just wanting them right back unless you're on salary, I would say. <laughs> but we'll see. He says he does not want to do the story time at the library, which is fine, but I still have to go to the library because we have a book to pick up. And then he says he wants to go to the pool. Are you just not wanting to go to the story time because you want to go to the pool? Because the pool is not open during story time, just so you know. No, but it's I fine if you just don't want to go to story time because we might have to stop in the summer anyway. I kind of don't want you can't be around lots of people. Well, you'll be around lots of people at the pool, but anyway, I don't know what we're going to get up to. I would love a Starbucks tea, but our Starbucks is not close anymore. <laughs> so it's like I have to go like all the way across the world. <laughs> it's like shopping center for just for a nice chai and egg sandwich. It's like we have to go somewhere. We don't need to be spending a ton of money anyway. We're about to order blinds, but yeah, I think they're on sale. So if we can get the order in, it won't be so traumatic. Anyway, I need to put my sweater on because the air conditioner just kicked on. Walmart just gave us one of their little random freebie bags again. It's always such a strange thing. We've got some cheese it puffs. It feels like there's like three crackers in there. They always give us this stuff. Yeah. And then Santa? Like medicine. Like, it seems weird to hand out medicine. There's some coupons. So air freshener and it's like they do these as a promotion for <coughs> Excuse me, I just totally lost my voice. From Walmart Plus, which is like Amazon Prime, and we do have Walmart Plus right now. We've had it since the pandemic. Yeah, don't have anything else interesting to say, so I'm gonna make breakfast.
Hello everyone. We just went to the pool, but my phone did not, so <laughs> enjoy this beautiful stock footage of our pool. Yeah. We went, I didn't really go in. I got my legs wet a little bit, but it's actually only 79 degrees and the sun keeps going behind the cloud and there's quite a strong wind, so too chilly for me, but Sebastian had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Jax had a little fun and then snack time and then he was ready to go too. But yeah, I'm gonna go change again and hopefully my work has come in. So I'll have to go see him. everyone we just walked back from dinner you saw that beautiful sunset we were going to a different part of the shopping center to see it and sebastian just skidded belly first across the park the crosswalk oh, his hands were stinging but he came out miraculously with very little marks on him some road rash but anyway I have things to tell you today, but I need to hop in the shower. It's already his bedtime, and I have so many layers of bug spray and sunscreen and pollen. My eyes are killing me. So, this is the best I'm gonna look. I'm gonna wash my face now because I can barely keep my eyes open. It actually got quite chilly, so I wore long sleeves to dinner. This new super soft thrifted top, but I'm gonna shower and get him to bed. I'm sure while he's getting ready, I will get you updated. All right, I don't have a lot of time because Sebastian's ready for bed now and they're just gonna probably read a really fast book. Here's me all clean and shiny and I have conditioner in my bag so that's why they are looking crusty. <sighs> Did we talk today? I don't know. So this morning, I'm still really tired. I'm still really tired, going to bed early, struggling to get up but the sun was like searing into my brain before seven. <laughs> It was so bright, but oh hey, blind, so we'll get to that. But we went downstairs, groceries came, dealt with the plants, put away the groceries, had some breakfast with my Korean, started painting. I know the cat still looks like kindergartner did it, but it's starting to take shape. A black cat is tricky, and she's very old, so gotta capture that, gotta capture her essence and I need to build up layers but I feel slightly less embarrassed about how it looks but I know it'll come together. All of my paintings look crazy when they started. Like, can you even paint? <laughs> but yeah, I did that while Danny was going back and forth with me about the blind situation and coming up and measuring things. 
he was like, oh, we have to get new blinds because even though they fit the width of our window like that, the depth of the window is now way shorter, like two inches shorter. Let me show you on one of these if I can in the dark because the windows are thicker. So there was a lot of wall before, probably like three to four inches of wall. And now there's like one inch of wall here. And he loves these two inch blinds. He says he does not like the, oh, this is so dark for you to see. You see how far, that, this is against the window. So that's how far that sticks out. But he doesn't like the one inch blinds. And he was thinking there's just no way we have to get new blinds because this is gonna stick out too far. And yeah. I mean, it sticks out, but I'm like, can we just cover that up? Like, they're supposed to have these valance things. Where are they? There's some in here. Oh, I the things. So these things normally cover that metal and the part of the metal that sticks out, but obviously it's sticking out way more than like less than two centimeters. So, I'm like, can we just, like, I don't, this is a mess, but I didn't know what he was looking for. I'm like, okay, so we have to get new ones. But then he says, they're not, they're still gonna be the two inch ones. I'm like, well, why are we getting new ones then? Cause we already have two inch ones that fit in there. What's the difference? And he said, oh, cause we'll do them outside. So we'll have to be like, attached above the window and they need to go out like three inches on either side and they're just like in front of the window fully. I'm like, mm, I don't like that. And I really didn't like it, but I was like, if that's what we have to do, I just don't see why we have to. And yeah, he just went back and forth and he really tried to make our existing blinds work. And we've come down to, he, went ahead and tested one to see if he could attach it. I don't know if you can see there are more holes there. We couldn't use all the holes, so we wanted to make sure he could attach at least two of, the, I don't know if he's doing two or three screws. There's a lot of holes in those things, so you have options. Just to see if it was possible to attach them with so much of that sticking out so that you can't screw into everything. So we can. And he's going to figure out ordering custom balances, which they're not cheap. He's trying to figure out and having them extra deep is like adding five bucks and stuff. So they might be $20 each and we have, I don't know, like 17. <laughs> Plus he wants to get blinds for a few windows that didn't have them. But instead of looking at thousands of dollars, we're looking at hopefully under a thousand, so that's good. Our other big news is last night, after I spoke with you, we booked a beach house. <laughs> we have been looking since the day we got home from the beach, because it was so miserable. 30 mile per hour winds and rainy and 50 degree weather is so awful. For our last beach trip before the boys are in public school, it was just, terrible the only good thing was our friends were there it was awful we got one sunny afternoon where danny got to enjoy his birthday but just an afternoon was not enough so yeah we've been looking and looking looking the entire coast danny was looking as far south as georgia and as far north as maine i kind of looked between south carolina and new york just anything we checked off dog friendly we checked off pool and near the beach and <laughs> just looked and looked and looked and it's just been a whole lot of nothing or things that were $29,000 a week. And then we're like really, really trying. We're coming down to the wire. We were like, maybe we can make this happen for Sebastian's birthday, which is in less than a week now. We were ready to go next day if we needed to. But I start looking cause I had some time free yesterday at my computer and I'm like, oh, here's, uh, Airbnb and Duck that just popped up. They said that we just opened up and it looks perfect. 
a little bit north of where we normally stay, but still walkable. It's just that it's like five thousand dollars, <laughs> to the point where we have to take savings. And he's like, "Yeah, that's a lot. That's too much." So I lower my per night budget, and everything disappears. Everything. It's just some random houses along the East Coast that don't actually have pools. They have the YMCA or a community pool, which would still be shared. <sighs> I gave up. I'm like, okay, this isn't happening. I did leave that one duck house open on the tab just so I could look at it. And he's like, F it, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna take some of that money that's going towards the bathroom because who knows when this is gonna happen. And we're going to take our beach trip and enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to the beach. It's on like the 19th, <laughs> going back to duck. So now we're trying to figure out if we can take the Jeep because it does not have room to store things. Dog will be in the back. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I just hear booming in the dog and the dog getting yelled at. But the dog goes in the back of the Jeep. There's nowhere else to put anything. So Danny really wants to take the Jeep, so he has the Jeep at the beach. Normally Yvonne drives it separately, but Yvonne probably can't come because he has got to work. So yeah, that's our current drama trying to figure that out, but Anyway, <laughs> after figuring out the blind, Sebastian and I went out and got a quick lunch at Starbucks, went to story time. I'm sorry, I was terrible at filming today. It's just, I don't know, my brain's not with me. And then we get home and we go to the pool and I forget my phone at home. <laughs> so I don't even have that. And then, I was exhausted, I was ready to curl up, but Danny's like, oh here, I brought you paint so you can paint the windowsills in the kitchen. So I was like, yes, and that actually woke me up a little bit. So I did that, and then we walked to dinner, and here we are. So I gotta wrap this up, because they've actually given me nine minutes, which is amazing. I'm going to get even more cozy, and maybe a hoodie or a sweater, and show Sebastian a couple of videos, and then, do my editing so I will see you tomorrow for Friday we're gonna see our friend in the morning which I don't normally film but don't know what's gonna happen after that I never did get the work I was supposed to get so that might happen anyway good night friends stay safe be kind and don't forget to wash your hands